how to add multi columns to Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to add a multi columns for uh, different purposes into your Shopify store. So it is very easy and very simple. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you're going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is you add over Shopify.com, sign in for an account, and then you're going to visit the admin dashboard of your store. So once you are here, do not forget to set up a product. So in my case, I did not have uh, or I did not add any products. So we are going to add a product real quick. So for example, here we are going to do, set up a product or a random product. Let's see here. What do we have for media? So we have, and do we have here uploaded a shoe photo? For example, 40 shoe, uh, for example, shoes. I'm going to copy and paste that here for the price, for example. Let's say that it is uh, like this. So we are going to set up the quantity, for example, like this. The uh, weight is going to be 0 0.5. Variants, we are going to add uh, these sizes, for example, here. We are going to set up here all the sizes that we need. For example, 7, 7, half, 8, until we see 10. So we are going to click on save. Boom, here we have added everything. So the uh, here the quantity should be equal for each other. Now what are we going to do is to head over to the online store. Then we are going to select the themes, click on customize. So here basically we are going to see the uh, Shopify product or the Shopify store. So here we are going to decide where are we going to put up here this multi columns. So the first suggestion is to put it at the uh, home page of your store. So you are going to click on add section. From here we have this list and we are going to click on multi column. So it will create here a multi column and then we are going to name it something. For example, here we can put it as testimonials. For example, client review. This is just an example. So here for the, um, as you can see here, uh, the specific or the columns, you can go ahead and select the columns, put up here, for example, a photo uh, for that specific client. You're going to see it here. And then you're going to type in the name of it. For example, here, this is Jack, just an example. And then I'm going to put here a review. So this is an amazing product. For example, product, I have used it multiple, for example, times and I, for example, and I am satisfied. So this is just an example. Now for the second column, you can go ahead and do the same. You can add here, uh, uh, whatever columns that you want. You can add uh, from three to six to whatever. For example, you can go ahead and add here. This is the second column. For third column, you can go ahead and do the same, for example, like that. So you are going to add here or use this as a testimonial. So this is or this specific multi column will be um, here uh, suitable for the product page. So you are going to enter here the product page and add it right here under the, uh, as you can see here, the section for the product. So you are going to add it like this. So this is going to be something like that. And also for the uh, previous one that we have created, which is this one, it is going to be not for the product, but only for the website that you have. So another suggestion for using this specific one. So it is going to be here setting up here the brands that you are going to use or the brands that you have. So for example, you can go ahead and um, uh, here, put up here the brand name, for example, Nike, and you're going to get here the, I'm going to put here the default effect, 
and there you are going to set up here the images for the brands that you are going to be familiar or working with or also you are going to be selling this is another suggestion you can also use these multi columns as not as a uh, let's say here or a client review or testimonials or uh, some brands representing you can go ahead and use them for example or name them as here latest for example products so or best for example best seller products so uh, I'm going to put here best sellers so what we're going to do here is to head over the columns or all the columns from here we're going to choose for example this product we are going to put here at the name of it for example two or something like here sporty it is named sporty two and then the description you are going to put here be for example something like that be as stylish as possible by wearing our for example best seller shoe for example shoe for the winter season for example season like that then what are we going to do is to put here for example a link label or put a link so we are going to link it to our product so like this so we are going to make right there the uh, as you can see the uh, column to a specific one so we are going to view that so basically we are going to get it here so this is the link of it so when you are going to click on this specific one so you are going to get up here I'm going to exit that I'm going to view the store and see so normally when you are going to click on it it will take you to the specific one so here we need to set up here a link label so this is the first thing that I have uh, forgot so we are going to click on customize again we're going to head over here we have the link label so we are going to type in get it here so we are going to get the link here so this is the uh, uh, thing that I have forgot so when you, whenever you are going to click on it it will take you directly to the page so you are going to do the basically the same thing for the uh, products or the multi columns that you have uh, created or chosen so basically it is very simple so you can go ahead and use them for any type of tasks that you want on your website so it is not going to be here um, um, set up for something let's say here special or something uh, only one thing but you can go ahead and use them on multi uses so for the color of them as you can see for the color of the cards I think also that you can go ahead and change them but you need I think something related to coding so we are going basically to uh, select here the scheme so let's see here you're going to select here all the scheme or the color right there of this specific one so we are going to change it like this so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one